Welcome back to my series on statics. Today we're going to get our fingers dirty, kind of jump into the material and see if uh, we can start looking at vectors and um, solve a problem. Well, let's let's start it off with just a thought. All right, let, let, let's imagine we have we have I grew up near the ocean, so I like barges. See, remember seeing them go by and being filled with awe and dread should you get stuck in front of one. Let's say we have a, a barge and it's being pulled by uh, two tugboats. We'll call it tugboat A for Arthur and tugboat B for uh, for Bart, we'll say. And the tugboat is being pulled to in order for it to like kind of get through the water. It's being pulled with force of 10,000 pounds. So it basically has 10,000 pounds worth of drag. And the game is, it's being pulled by these cables, cable A, cable B. And the game is these cables can only take 8,000 pounds. So 8,000 pounds is our magic number. And the question is, do they make it? Or do we have to up our cables or does something snap? What happens here? Now at this stage, if you've gone through mechanics, you can look at this and you can probably figure this out. We're going to use the tools that we have to figure it out kind of the long way. We're going to use vectors, we're going to resolve them into their components, and we're going to have some simultaneous equations we'll solve, and you know, we'll separate x and y, and we'll be done. So that said, let's jump into this and let's ask, really, what's happening here? Force A, what, what is going on force A, and what is going on force A? That said, let's uh, get a couple things straight. My standard operating procedure will be X, Y, and then coming straight out towards you will be Z. So if you don't see that, that's what you can assume. Let's sum up the forces. Well, sorry, sorry, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The first thing we do in any problem is we're going to make our free body diagram. Now, I'm going to tell you a couple something else. Force A, this is at an angle of 30 degrees. Force B is at 45 degrees. So let's make our free body diagram. We have our point source. We have, uh, which is basically just going to be the barge. We have force of A operating at 30 degrees. And then we have um, force B operating at 45 degrees. And then finally, we're going to have the drag force. We'll call it, uh, we'll just say whatever, 10,000 pounds. I may refer to it later as force D, D for drag. Um, speaking of which, let's get force B up here. Now let's sum the forces in the X and Y directions and see what we have. Sum of the force in the X direction. Now you might be tempted to say, First, we know that the sum of the force is going to be the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. It's not accelerating in the x direction. So this is going to be zero. Think about that for a moment. Make sure you don't think it's 10,000. That would be bad. Now, let's sum the forces. What do we have in the positive direction? We have force of A, but the x component of the force of A is simply going to be force of A times cosine of 30. That should be pretty clear. If not, go back to your vectors. In addition, you have force of B. You have the tugboat B pulling in this or pulling in this direction, going in the positive x direction, and that's cosine 45. Finally, you have the drag force going in the negative x direction, and that is 10,000 pounds. Um, Let's go ahead and get 10,000 by itself. I like having variables on one side and numbers on the other. Uh, force A cosine 30 plus force B cosine 45. All right. Let's scroll. Well, let's just keep it the way it is for right now. Um, where will I do this? Let's do the sum of the forces in the Y direction now. Let's change color just to keep things clear. Force D is not doing anything. What we have, we know it's going horizontally, so the force in the vertical direction from A is equal and opposite to the force in the vertical direction due to B. 
once again mass times acceleration in the y direction this is zero force a is force a times sine of 30 it's in the positive direction and um, we're going to subtract force b sine of 45 now what we'll do is we will solve for force a force a equals force b sine 45 divided by sine of 30. Now for future reference going forward I will show you the algebraic steps how I'm solving through I'll put it on the blackboard but I'm not going to talk us through every step so you can pause make sure you can go through every step on your own but you won't need to hear me walk through all of them in order to get to the end we'll cover the basic concepts talk our way through that but as far as the algebra um, I'll let that show itself but I won't review it if you have questions you can um, always check with your professor or check with me it should be pretty clear um, that said let's go ahead and solve this through substitution all right we have two equations we have this equation right here and this equation right here let's take this force a and substitute it in there now that said we're going to have a new equation 10,000 equals and now where I would put force a instead I'm going to do force B sine of 45 over sine of 30. Okay. And now I'll go back to multiplying that by cosine of 30 plus force B cosine 45. Okay. I'm going to factor out my force B and I have a sine 45 let's put everything on the numerator and denominator uh, times cosine 30 all over sine 30 plus cosine 45 now the next thing that I'm going to do um, is the reason I chose 30 and 45 degrees is because these are common numbers that you should just know. So 10,000 equals force B and you should know that the sine of 45 is 0.707. You should know the cosine of 30 is 0.866 over 0.5 plus 0.707 that's the cosine of 45 these are numbers you're going to use you just need to know so commit them to memory now if you want to remember them as you know square root of twos and square root of threes and that's a, a, from that perspective that's totally fine but you also want to know 0 0.866 0 0.707 and 0.5 let's bring in our calculator uh, 0 0.707 dividing by 0 0.5 is the same as multiplying by 2 you're going to multiply that by 0 0.866 we get 1.225. Let's go ahead and use our calculator to add this 0 0.707, although we should be able to do that pretty readily. 1.32. Sorry, 1.932. All right. Force B times 1.932 equals 10,000. We're going to divide both sides by 1.932 and what are we going to get 1.932 or approximately I'm rounding there take the inverse multiply by 10,000 and we get 5,177 whoops all right 5,177 there is our answer so it looks like Going back to our original, force B is less than 8,000. That's good. That's good. Force B is going to be okay. Now let's take a look at force A. We know what force B is right here. 
So let's plug that in and see if we can figure out force A. We don't quite not have enough space. So force B is 5,177. Oh, oh, yes we do. Look, so what we'll do is we'll take this number and we'll just plug it in right there. So let's, uh, let's change our color. 5,177 times, all right, sine 45, you know it, 0 0.707. Sine 30, you know it, 0.5 equals, let's bring it, let's bring out our calculator. 5,177 multiplied by 0 0.707 multiplied by 2, 7,321. All right. So now we have 7,321. That is force A. Less than 8,000. Now, if you want to finish it up, go ahead and check it. Take 5,177, 7,321, plug them back into, um, back into say uh, one of these equations, either, either one is fine. And you should, let's say into this equation and you should come up with a true equation. Now in summary, what we've done here is um, we've taken a look at the barge, we've resolved things into our X and Y components. We've separated them um, and, and then written equations for both. We have simultaneous equations, two equations, two unknowns, we can go back and solve. Now this problem opened up my eyes to what statics can do. And the reason I say that is because as you're looking at this, we're seeing that we're adding vectors the way we've done all through mechanics. But in my next video, I'm going to show you how to do this problem even faster with one equation. And it opened my eyes to see that there's all sorts of ways to do problems that we thought we could do but now we're able to do even more effectively and even trickier. I look forward to seeing you then and uh, best of luck as you work your way through these types of problems.